Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a wireless doorbell from Arlo. Now this one was a free sample sent to me by Amazon. Now it's not the first time they send me any product to test. I'm actually running the Pro 3 at the moment at my home and the link to the video is in the description somewhere. And they also sent me the Essential Spotlight camera. So at the moment I have four Arlo camera running in my home. I have been using a very cheap doorbell. I think it's about £60. Again, video will be in the description somewhere. It's working perfectly fine. Fine. I mean, when people press the doorbell, my phone will come up with an alert and message. There are some downside to using those kind of a cheap doorbell. One is a narrow view because like um, it's not a wide angle lens. So I have to install it in such a way that it tilt forward and look down so that you can see what people is holding in their hands. But overall, in the last two years, I haven't missed any um, notification in terms of people like a postman and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of upgrade I will get for £179. So this is like three times the cost of a cheap Chinese doorbell. Um, I love the Arrow Pro 3 because they are 2K and um, they got a very good kind of a quality picture. It's kind of like um, top top of the range security camera. The only thing which can top that will be my wide version of the Swan 4K. <clears throat> you do have to run wires um, across the house for that 4K um, Swan system. Today I'm talking about the doorbell. Some of you might want to just run the doorbell on its own. My video is all about showing you what it can and what it can't do. It's not rehearsed. I have no idea what um, this one can do and how to install it so I'm just going to do an unboxing experience and uh, installation for you guys. So a bit about this camera, it, like I say it can do wide angle and it's a 1080p, uh, 180, 180 viewing angle, night vision, video core, motion detect, the usual stuff, nothing that my um, 60 pound doorbell can't do. So within the box you got the doorbell right here, if I take it out and just in comparison this is my hand. Okay, so this is plastic construction. The seams are not sealed. You got a couple of slots opening on the bottom right here. I guess that's for the microphone and the speakers. I mean, the packaging, like um, the higher end product, is perfect. Got some instruction booklets, cables. Okay, so this is for you to connect it up to a a permanent power source so you can run this permanently my my doorbell used to be wireless but i'm kind of um, tired of recharging the battery unlike the camera you can't just plug in a power bank you actually have to take it off the door because the power port is on the back of the um, doorbell i think same as this as well so um, it's not that easy to charge your doorbell so um, that's why i wired it into the previous doorbell that um, I have. So I, when I bought this house, it already have one of those transformer. So basically there's a power running into the doorbell already. So I just replaced the, <clears throat> the connections for my door, doorbell. I'll show you guys later on, on my, on my actual front door. And that's it. So that's, that's the whole packaging. So unboxing is quite easy because there is only like three or four parts. So they're all here. Now, one of the things I like about the company Arlo compared to the Chinese company is the simplicity of the installation and the user friendliness of um, the um, product. So, for example, a quick start guide like this, there is only three steps. Basically, charge the battery, download the app and follow the instructions on the app. So, I mean, how difficult can, can that be? In terms of like um, the contents and everything is perfectly laid out. So uh, less confusion. I think for the previous like uh, doorbell that I have tested, I got tons of questions from you guys because it's not so straightforward. Um, in fact, some of the doorbell is so badly made that you know you try to mount it on the door and you try to take it out of the. How do I say? How do I put this? You do get what you paid for, but the important thing is. Even the chip products, they will work. You just have to work around it. Hopefully my video will show you guys um, some tips and tricks on how to make things work. But at £176 for a doorbell, I think it's still reasonable. Uh, some people might think that, oh, it's so expensive. Why would you spend so much money on a doorbell? Just, you know, install any kind of a wireless doorbell and you know, press a button, that's all it does. But actually it does a lot more. This is actually a security uh, device. It's like a CCTV, 
and um, it's a two-way communication as well so you can talk to the person who pressed the bell so you are paying for extra functions that you know is not just a simple physical bell that you press and you answer the door the other video doorbell that i have tested what well, it comes with a camera and also a plug-in device um, separately so when you press the bell this thing obviously will make noise to let the person know that they actually did ring the bell but there is a separate chime in the house that will tell the owner that you know the doorbell has been activated but this one doesn't so it does rely on your phone i guess because the notification will go straight to your phone but what if your phone is on silence um i think this will be something that i will connect it up to uh my um Amazon Echo devices or maybe a few tablets and you know a few other devices that I have at home which can work as a chime but I'm quite disappointed that you know it doesn't come with one it's, it's a bit silly 470 pound doorbell doesn't come with a chime I don't understand it now the instructions say charge up the battery before we go so so this is a battery and you got the indicator lights right there and come with a uh, micro usb cable so what you do is you plug in your power source at the moment i'm using a power bank and you see the red led light come up that means that is being charged when it turns green that's when we actually can use the camera so i just have a regular power bank that i plug it in and now we wait now the battery is charged let me show you so there is a green light you need the arlo app from play store which i already have because i have the system running if you haven't seen it before this is how the app will be like so i got three cameras at the moment set up and i could add new device doorbell and chime is what i want to add and you just follow the instruction now this is what i like about premium products because it's so polished you just follow the instruction select add new device doorbell and chime you show the QR code to the camera like this and then it will send the information over including your Wi-Fi setting and all that your doorbell is connected to Alexa with Allo UK skills so because I already got the system set up for CCTV camera this is just a piggyback so installation for me is extra easy because I already got some of the stuff set up but you might not while it is updating the firmware let me just show you the back plate of the doorbell so it does have a two prong kind of a connection right here this is for your permanent power feed I know I said it already but I have to say it again the the setup is so simple everything is on the app all the instructions is in nicely photo it tells you where to drill how to pull the wire through it's fantastic I know I haven't set it up completely so this is an extra function that you will get so it comes with like a three month trial of the Allo subscription I don't have subscription for my CCTV camera because I've got a base station but for now I will use it because why not it's free and you can use it to set up like uh, multiple um, detection so you can detect like object people animals and such so you've got option to choose to switch on different types of alerts so like all my CCTV camera what you do is you can watch a live stream by just pressing the play button So here we go. So it's a wide angle. Hence, I'm going to switch off the speaker because it's going to get annoying with the feedback. And uh, it's kind of already tested, the audio does work as well. So this is the live feed. And because of the wide angle, I think that's why it comes up like a square image. It does have a second or two second delay in terms of the video. So for example, if I point right now up, you can see me point up in about one and a half second delay but anyway so with the with the doorbell right there you can actually see the whole room like the ceiling where the, the light bulbs that you don't usually see in my video and that's quite handy because as a doorbell with a narrow angle you won't see much once they walk close to the door because all you will see is the chest but with this one you should still see what they're carrying plus on top of like the face and everything so now with the doorbell set up i want to show you guys what happened when someone let's say at the door press my doorbell at the moment already is coming up as like motion detected because obviously i'm moving around so you know we can see 
what you are looking at right now. So you're kind of telling me that there is someone. But what happened? I've pressed the button. You see my phone on notification come up. Almost like someone is ringing my phone. If I press tick. So now I am looking at the door, but I'm already listening to the doorbell. That's why you can hear my phone kind of echoing. At the moment it's mute, but I can always like unmute it and say something. But you also have like uh, pre-recorded messages. Like for example, if I press. Can I help you? Sorry, not interested. 179 pounds doesn't come with a chime, so you have to pay extra for that. Once you have the chime, you're plugged in, and you, if you have a base station, then you can control uh, more peripherals. So you have to buy into the ecosystem. Um, just having the doorbell itself, I don't think is enough. So this is a quick video testing for the Arlo door, wireless doorbell. So this is a quick... Um, so this is a quick video testing of the Arlo doorbell. You can see I'm about arm's length away. For example, if I'm standing right outside the door, you can still see my full body. For example, if I stand up. Now, usually if a normal camera with a, a narrower lens, the video will be a bit wider and you will probably only see up to this much. Of the space but because it's a wide angle camera everything is a bit distorted so you can actually see a lot more so for example this is my workbench and those are the things that you don't usually see with any of my camera you can see the two spotlights on the top there and a few of the lights on top of the table as well now if i'm holding a parcel delivering my um if i'm a postman and delivering a parcel i'm holding this in my hand and walking towards the door with this particular lens, you can actually see everything rather than just seeing the chest of the person. This is really, really important. And not until the point where they actually press the doorbell, for example, you can see my finger here, everything is being recorded. Now, if I walk further back, then you can see the um, quality of the footage. So at the moment, the studio here is quite dark, but um, there's studio light on the desk, of course. Alexa, turn off bench. So this is like a night test of the doorbell. Alexa, turn on bench. Okay. So back into full color mode. I can see the infrared kind of a sensor kind of switch off. So now we're back to full color for the arrow wireless essential camera i am arm's length away and you can see this is a fish eye camera so you can see kind of all around so if i am at the door right now usually you will only be able to see my chest at the moment you can clearly see everything and um, actually the quality is quite good on the phone but um, but again, £170 without a chime is just a bit too much. And um, I'm actually a big fan of Arlo Pro 3 camera, and I've got a base station as well. But currently, without a firmware update, he's not going to be connected to that. So I'm stuck with the three months free subscription. And when the subscription cut, um, run out, then I will be forced to pay a subscription to be able to record any videos on the cloud hopefully the firmware will be out by then then i can connect to my base station now without the 45 pound or the 50 pound chime um, you are pretty much relying on notification on your phone um, i did manage to get um, this connect to my alexa so uh, whenever someone press the bell all my alexa device will kind of make announcement but unfortunately again it's not like a continuous uh, ringtone but more like an announcement um, I really want something that can someone press the doorbell and it just continue playing for about a minute or so so at least we don't miss the door 
um, visitor who pressed the bell. Um, yeah, that's about it. So this is short video just to show you guys and um, do a video in video. So on my phone, I'm seeing myself. And to be honest with you, there is a lack of one one seconds or maybe maximum two seconds, but that is expected for all kind of um, doorbell or wireless doorbell or IP camera in general. So um, I went to install this in the house. Um, that's why you see the wire coming out. So this is supposed to go into the um, doorbell wire, which I have, um, which will power this little device here, but I have problem connecting this to my Arrow base station. Basically, this one come with a three month subscription, so I can use this right now because whatever happens, for example, the recording, the recording and all that will go onto a cloud server. But my end goal is actually having this recording to a. Oop. So uh, that's a good. So that's actually a very good demonstration. So at 170 odd pound without a chime, this is what you have to resort to. Unless you buy the chime, obviously it will keep ringing uh, near the door, so you know someone is at the door. But just now I pressed the button, and Alexa actually tell me that someone is at the door with the doorbell chime. So that will work as a chime in some way if you have some devices in the house for example i have my echo show 8 my kids have echo show 5 and then um, here i got an echo dot so when you press the doorbell all the device will tell you that someone is at the door so that might work but i really want it to record video on my local server so the allo base station on paper is supposed to do that but until they bring out a firmware that is not going to be possible and the other thing i want to show you guys is is really fantastic because um the motion detection actually work with apple watch as well so when there is motion detection it will send you notification on the phone and um, when, your, when, your, when your Apple Watch is connected to the phone you do get a picture notification so you can actually see who is at the door so now I'm going to point it away so it doesn't activate my phone anymore for me at the moment it is going to go back in the box because there's no point for me to use this product at the moment without having the footage recorded to my um, server I have a cheap doorbell, which is about 60 pounds. I think I did a review on YouTube and it's working perfectly fine. When you press the button, it will, notice my, it will notify my phone. It's the same thing, it will notify Alexa as well, as well as being able to record onto the SD card. I mean, I could take that off the door right now and install this one and hope for the best that, you know, within the next three months before the subscription um, runs out then uh, they push out a firmware that I can record onto the base station but for now it's not it's not worth it I'm just going to put it back in the box it's so disappointing that you know it's such a brilliant device and the picture quality is like next to none I mean better than any CCTV uh, doorbell that I have tested hopefully they do that soon and I can update the video and tell you guys how fantastic this product is but at the moment at £175 and then plus another £50 for the chime hmm, I'm not sure and um, thank you very much for watching my video don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow and I can't wait to see you next time bye bye